figure that you're a mom, a single mom, who has to ride a bus and then pick up your child at daycare and then come home and make dinner. So about three times a month, the ladies and the gentlemen, we have some gentlemen heads of households, they get to come home and they get to have food waiting for them. I used to work at DC Central Kitchen and Campus Kitchens is a program of DC Central Kitchen. What we do is we try to provide food for those that need it, you know, it's just we try to help the families that need it and since, since we have such an abundance of food around this area, it's just why not transport this type of food? to a family that does need it. So I'm thinking uh, even to help uh, with the, the campus kitchen project or the people who have no food, and I'm looking at it, the whole, these people need food. Food means life, survival. It feels amazing to get a group of students to really make a change in our community. You know, and just being a part of that equation, this plus this plus that, you know, it's fantastic to be a part of. And I know it's just, at the end of the day, it's just the benefit of helping another human being that I just find amazing. What motivates me to volunteer for Campus Kitchens is just uh, that team spirit, like being part of a team with my classmates. When you come to the kitchen, you can see that all students are on it and they do everything together and really enjoy themselves and the energy is just outstanding. Coming together every month, knowing that we prepare meals for family who really need it. So it's very rewarding. I started the program in 2007. Uh, Campus Kitchens is embedded into the service learning, into the professional development course series. My role is just to prepare the logistics. You know, I prepare my students, we purchase the food, we collect the food, we cook the food, and we deliver it. And we tell them that this is a program that's embedded in our curriculum. They get a little scared because there's a lot going on in the kitchen. But once they get in here and we have music going on and Edgar does his magic and just assigns dishes and tasks, everybody has so much fun. And because it's a group effort, it never feels like it's a lot. So the program costs about $1,000 a month and that includes food and equipment and also some student development, t-shirts and things like that and sending students to conferences. So the donation, it, it costs us money to feed our families. We also do a snack backpack program, so that costs money. Um, and, the and we don't use any, develop any donated food. So all of the food is freshly prepared. So with your donation, we're able to expand our program. We added backpacks. With enough donations, we'll even want to add a student scholarship fund. So the donation goes a long way. It supports families in need, it fights hunger, but it also supports the students who are working so hard. Oh, donors are, you know, they're the, they're the core. Without them, we actually couldn't even I couldn't even fathom how we would be. Oh, my name is Amber. I'm a mother of three kids, and I'm a childcare provider. A fresh May meal means to me, uh, it helps me out, especially in the evening. After a long day of work, I can just come home and sit down and eat. It's been very helpful. The organization really actually helps me a whole lot. Um, <sighs> I'm just very blessed with it. I enjoy it. 